Because I don't even know where to start from. I am overwhelmed. My heart is filled with joy. That today one of us has been ordained. My union is blessed. Oh, look at Leno! Oh, do look at Leno! Are we not blessed? We have it all. Oh, do you not have it all? And I thank God again for this blessing again today. My lovely, sweet, Reverend, my president emeritus. <laughs> this is also those days. Okay. Because I took go out of my head to my side here. I will go to no breathe. Because the government. <laughs> Your union present here today. When I want to go to I do my own to the Lord. I go 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 to the Lord. Other than the president, uh, the, the members present here, more and more. Kabwe Ju Noji, maybe actually when I be at the I will executive meeting, which I believe that I will uh, represent the way. I'm not saying 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 just anyway, speak. I've got my TV channel now. You know, I went to do media. Yeah, shiny light TV. No, no, I'm doing it on YouTube at the moment, but I'm going on Sky. Okay. Yeah, Sky is going to uh, sign me up. That's really Yes. I left the English class. I didn't really understand. So I went to British University. Yeah. Hi, sir. So. I will talk to you. You know her? She's my wife. Oh. Okay. My friends, uh, they come from the same place. But to this place, was in a good We keep on going round and round, round and round. Yeah, I want to show you my Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I drink a manaha, Jesus. Oh, the Lord, I told him, manaha, Jesus. Yeah, how are you? He look up again. He won't eat. Well, they will, when you will be close. Move out, they will, they will. Move out. Ellen, you know. You know, 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 you know. You know,
iPhone.
Please. Thank you. I'm handing the microphone to the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> Very blessed. So, I need a microphone. You are wicked. in the back. Uh, because, um, just a little word, because my name is the the support of here today because for this uh, journey, a journey that uh, went and went and went and went. We any kind of uh, donation or anything. We don't want to give them any kind of there. Because it's going to be a journey that will cover a lot of areas in terms of uh, help to the needies and the poor people and the widow. So thank you, Lorano, for that. Um, the only one I journey to get to give because I'm here to pick. Finally, I'm near the microphone to Jeff, the husband of the uh, mother. Okay, focus on my wife. Yeah, my Jeff. Go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can somebody praise the Lord? Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm here to thank God for the wonderful thing He has done. I thank him for his mighty hand upon the life of my wife. I thank him for using her to affect life. What can I, what can I say than to thank him? Amen. I also thank the Archbishop here, though he is not here, or the Bishop, the pastors, the ministers here. I thank them for, their, for coming here and for everything. I also thank I thank God for making today one of the happiest days in my life. This journey started with affliction, but now we are celebrating now. And we thank God that at last the dream of my wife come to fulfillment. Amen. 
I assure all of you that your coming here is not in vain. You come here because God wants you to come here. You come here because you love God. You come here because you are here to support the work of God. The value, the ethos of this ministry is all about supporting the widows and the orphans in their spiritual needs by praying for them. In their emotional need, through counseling, she cancels them. And also in their financial needs. Now, we talk about the widows in this culture is quite different from the widows in our own culture. Here, when somebody call, when a woman call herself a widow, she's supported by the society. But back home, when somebody is a, wid is a widow, many a times they are, they, are, they are left without no hope. Now can we ask why? What are the problem of the widows in our own country? I tell you now that their problem is not because they lost their loved one. It's a part of it, but their problem is because of a certain aspect of our culture that victimizes them. The culture that encourages the brothers of the, the disease to disinherit the widow, take everything that they labored for with their husband. Simply, because either no male child there, or the kids are so small, or they are girls. This culture is unfair. This culture is barbaric. And I'm using this platform now to speak to each and every one of you to be a voice that we say no to that culture. Because some of these people, some of these weak leaders, they are left with broken heart. Some are even scared to go to their husband's house because of what the family will do to them. Some could not even train their kids again because everything has been taken away from them. This culture, please, should be stopped. You got to be the voice, the voice that will make that change by spreading the awareness to your community, to your chiefs, and let them know that when a woman lost his husband, she has full entitlement of whatever belongs to the man. That's why I'm calling you all to be a part of what we are doing now by supporting generously to what we are doing. You are not doing it for me. You are not doing it for, for her. But you are lending to God. You are giving to God. And when you give God, you cannot give, you cannot give God. When you give him with a shovel, he gives you with ten shovels. That's how God works. John Kennedy said, life is not all about how much material wealth you have acquired. But life is all about how many people you have changed their life. Mona Teresa said, if you cannot change, if, if you cannot support 100, support just one person. If you, if you cannot support 100 widows or orphans, just support one. God will not forget you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You can see that my brother has done a very long research on this. Mm -hmm. Easy, they will not do that. Oh, they're busy. Um, Theresa.
I know some of them. Go, go, go. <laughs> Holy Ghost, I don't have one. Basically, this is the God is right to you. I will keep on praying for you. You don't need to leave those kind of cultures where windows are going to be marketed, where you don't have one little child, you don't have any at all. You have to.